Good evening, I'm Yvonne Okwara Matole. Our big story tonight is all about the People's Assembly. The High Court in Kitui issued orders barring county assemblies from passing or implementing National Super Alliance's motions on the formation of the People's Assembly. Justice Lilian Mutende issued the order pending determination of a case filed by a lobby group going by the name Counties Development Group. The hearing of the case is scheduled for January next year. Meanwhile, NASA's head of Secretariat, Norman Magaya, maintains that the initiative will go on, terming the court's decision hopeless. So what becomes of the nine county assemblies that had previously passed the motion to embrace the People's Assembly? I believe that number might actually be 10 or was meant to be. And what would be the structure of operation of such assemblies should their existence be upheld? That's our discussion. That is our big story tonight. The intention is to have the biggest People's Assembly ever witnessed in this country. And that's why all mobilization is being put into it so that a resolution and a decision taken in that assembly will have the full force uh, of the power of the people. What is the end result when you form this people's assembly? What do you gain? I mean, in the National Assembly, the Senate, the Count Assemblies, their deliberations are anchored in the Constitution and there's a product that comes out of those assemblies. All right, so um, let's take a look at the 